Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're going through the steps on how to factory reset your iPhone. So you may want to reset your iPhone if you are selling your iPhone, if you're giving it to uh, you know a friend or a family member, uh, and you want to just wipe it to remove all the content, all of the photos, all of the uh, text messages, all of your applications, games, etc. It's going to remove the whole lot. Uh, you may also want to clear it out if your phone is say perhaps running very very slow and just over time it's just accumulating a whole bunch of junk and cache files and everything like that clearing it will you know will speed things up as well to do this we go into settings okay you're gonna have a few options on here we want to look at the general tab in general we go all the way down to the bottom and look for reset now there's a few options in here Reset all settings is just going to reset all your settings and essentially it'll reset your phone back to factory default in terms of settings wise, but all your applications and your content will remain. Okay, so we don't want to do that because we want to clear out the whole lot. So we're going to go erase content and settings, which is the second option down. All right, erase content and settings. It's now going to ask you to put in your passcode for your phone. Okay, you may or may not have one. If you do put that in, if you don't, it won't ask you. Also, if you've set up um, your Find My iPhone feature, this is, just, this is just a security feature that's been built into your iPhone, so that if somebody steals your iPhone uh, and they try to reset it, they still need to know the password for your, um, for, your, for your Apple ID, right? For your Mac, Apple ID, or iCloud, for example. So you wanna put in your password, whatever it may be, okay? I just failed it because I put in the wrong password, but put in your password, it's then going to ask you to confirm it and then ask you for your credentials of your iCloud if you have that set up as well. And then your phone will completely factory reset back to the start. You're good to go. So that is it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos.